Hi everyone, Yasas Kekalos Tirtate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a very delicious cookie in Greece. We call these la dokulura, which basically means olive oil cookies. They're so good, they're light and they're tender, and they're also vegan. There's absolutely no dairy in this, no egg, so it's perfect if you're, if you're looking for something for Lent or something like that, or if you want something delicious to serve with your coffee. These cookies are it, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna begin by combining the dry ingredients together. In this bowl, I have four cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, one teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. To the bowl, I'm gonna zest these clementines over here. Uh, if you have oranges, you'll need the zest of two oranges, but since I don't, I'm just gonna zest a bunch of clementines to get about two teaspoons of orange zest. Once that's in the bowl, just whisk everything all up together and set it aside. Next, we're going to juice these clementines. We need three quarters of a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice. Since the pulp is falling into the juice, I'm just gonna get a whole cup and then strain this into my mixing bowl. So I'm doing this all in a stand mixer so that way it's easier, but you can do it by hand with a whisk and then just knead in the flour later on but I'm just gonna use the mixer anyway. So I'm gonna add the orange juice to this. Again, I'll strain it through so that way it'll catch any of that pulp. Pulp tastes good in cakes, but not really so much so in cookies. Next, I'll add one and a half cups of very light olive oil. You can use vegetable oil for this for a very mild flavor, but I find that this light olive oil is just right. It doesn't taste at all like regular olive oil. It's nice and light. I'll add one cup of granulated sugar, a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, it's best to whisk this up with a whisk because the paddle attachment doesn't really get down to the bottom of the bowl. So once everything is mixed up, you can start adding the dry ingredients. But I just wanna mention that I went ahead and I finally chopped some walnuts in this food processor, just have them ready to go. You can either use walnuts in this recipe or sesame seeds. If you're using sesame seeds, you don't have to chop them up. They're just gonna go straight into the batter. I'm going to chop up about three quarters of a cup because we need about half a cup of them, but I always like to put a little bit more. I love the crunchy taste and flavor of walnuts. It's nice and mild, but let's get back to the mixer. So in the mixer, we're gonna add the flour mixture right now, a little bit at a time until it's incorporated. Then go ahead and add the remaining flour mixture with the walnuts and mix everything all together just until it combines. Try not to mix this too much, otherwise the oil will start coming out of the cookie batter and you want it to stay in. If it looks really wet like mine, go ahead and add a half a cup of flour to the mixing bowl and just mix it in until it's combined, just until the cookie dough looks like this. It's still gonna be kind of wet and a little bit oily but this is what you're looking for you don't want this to be too dry otherwise they'll be hard and they won't be as tender and melt in your mouth the way these usually come out transfer the dough to a work surface and you can just lightly flour it just so that way it's not so sticky the oil in this dough helps it so that way it's not very sticky they roll out really easily the next step is to just form little balls out of this walnut sized pieces is what you're looking for you can make them a little bit smaller i made them a little bit bigger but if you make them smaller they'll be a little crispier next we're just gonna roll these balls out into logs if they're falling apart squeeze them back together and then just roll them out again so that way they don't fall apart later on put them on baking trays that are lined with parchment paper leaving some space in between them because they are going to spread a little bit and um, you don't want them to stick together if you want to at this point you could sprinkle some sesame seeds on top or even roll them in sesame seeds but my kids don't like sesame seeds so I'm leaving them out these are gonna go in a preheated 350 degree oven and they're gonna bake until they're golden brown. So it just depends how thick they are. You can start checking them at 15 minutes. They can take anywhere between 15 to 25 minutes. This is what they should look like. Once they look like this, get some coffee on the table because they're ready to serve. So once the cookies come out of the oven, you just want them to cool completely. It takes about 15 minutes or so. You can transfer them to a serving platter, to a cookie container or jar or something like that. They stay fresh at room temperature for up to like two weeks. They taste so good. Um, I would not freeze these. The dough doesn't freeze well. Once the cookies are baked, they don't taste good if you freeze them. So just leave them at room temperature and serve them with some Greek coffee or some tea. You definitely want to call some friends over and share these. They're so good. Time for the taste test. And I like to dip mine in coffee. I don't know. It's something that I like to do. Mm, so good. They're really light. 
and crisp on the outside and just so tender on the inside. I love the aroma of the orange, the walnuts, add a little bit of a crunch to them. Delicious. If you don't like walnuts, leave them out and you can add some sesame seeds to this. You can even leave the warm spices out altogether, like the cinnamon and the cloves and make these more of a vanilla flavor like a kuluraki. If you want me to play around with that recipe and make like a vegan dairy-free kuluraki, which is the Easter butter cookie, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get that to you as soon as I can. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Print it out on the website, dimitrizishes.com. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I'll be back here next time with another delicious recipe. Yes, us.